everyone welcome back to another cozy chronicles uh it has been a while but i've been kind of trying to figure out um how to do things and all of that stuff so that's why i haven't uploaded for a while but hopefully with this video we're back <laughs> um it's been a while so i don't know what i recorded this week uh when it comes to like little clips for the actual vlog um and i've been kind of like trying to record more but i don't know what i filmed but what i'll do is i think i will give you guys a little update on what happened this week and then i will talk about my notebooks a little bit because yeah you'll you'll see um <laughs> so basically i don't think i filmed anything on monday but i didn't really do much i kind of rearranged my desk area a little bit nothing crazy i just i just needed to clean it and kind of reorganize it um so i did that and i was i was home i didn't do much um 
yeah so i don't think i filmed anything on monday on tuesday i was actually out i went to a coffee shop um and i kind of like journaled a little bit and i think you saw that because um i think until now that's like the most i recorded in a day and then i did some shopping <laughs> i bought some new rings i think i showed them to you and yeah and then i just came back home um i don't think i recorded anything on wednesday because um i have some new shelves and i finally like built them or like mounted them i don't know what i should call that but yeah <laughs> i did that and then i kind of spent a while trying to figure out what i want to put there um but i think i figured it out i'm very happy with how it's looking right now so i did that and then um since we recently moved we were um waiting for a like a part of the kitchen to be done um i basically wanted to have like a little coffee corner um and we have been waiting for it to be done and on wednesday it was like completely fully done so me and my mom we kind of spent the entire day trying to figure out um how to organize the cabinets and stuff um so i didn't record much because i just i don't feel comfortable recording when i'm like organizing things because it takes a while for me to figure out um the actual organization i'm already stressed so <laughs> i don't want to like add on to that stress um uh, so yeah i don't think you saw anything on wednesday on thursday i had a class this week i only had one class because the rest got cancelled <laughs> um so on thursday i went to i went to the class it was at 8 a.m um so after the lecture is done i went to the coffee shop um that i went on tuesday um i had a little lunch um and then i had a uh brow appointment at um benefits brow bar so i was waiting for that while i was having my lunch <laughs> and then after i finished everything i actually met up with my mom and then we kind of like walked around and came back home um yeah i think i think you saw like some parts of it as well um and yesterday which was friday i was supposed to go to uh one of my lectures but it got cancelled the night before so i was at home i don't think i filmed anything because i'm gonna be honest i was not feeling super good i was feeling a little bit tired and i didn't do too much i just i just slept i read my book and i just um played stardew which is becoming <laughs> my new like comfort game uh which i i have like a idea of what i want to do um so i will explain that as well but yeah on friday i i didn't film anything because like i said i didn't do much i was feeling tired um and i'm actually gonna go out in a couple hours but I just thought that I could film this before I, you know, leave. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of like how my week has been. Um, tomorrow I'm not doing anything. I have a French uh, lesson tomorrow morning and then I have a digital drawing class again <laughs> that I um, will attend tomorrow night. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, it's been a while um, since I posted a video, <laughs> um, but I really, I was feeling burnt out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, so that's why I decided to take a break, and I'm feeling a lot better, I have a better plan this time, so we'll see. Um, but when it comes to my journals, I actually um, I did some stuff that I'm gonna show you. So you know what i'm actually going to start with my bullet journal i think so for may i didn't post a may setup video because it has been tough i'm not gonna lie so on april i was not going to show this but i 
I think I should. On April, I did not use my bullet journal at all. I did the setup, which I posted on, on the channel, and then I didn't do anything. I just filled things out a little bit, but that's about it. Like, I didn't even finish the first week. It is, it was a horrible, horrible month. And it made me so sad because I was really enjoying um, this journaling um, journey, I guess. But yeah, April was not the month for me. Uh, I didn't even do a good job on March. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to um, not post my May setup video. I set this up when I was in the coffee shop on Tuesday. And I decided to do that because, like I said, I do want to use my bullet journal, but I feel like when I'm um, doing the setup in the video, I get a little bit stressed. And I just wanted to try doing it on my own this time. And we'll see, I will update you guys on this, obviously, but that's why you didn't see a setup video. Um, I don't know what I will do for the rest of the months, but for now, this is what we're doing, uh, at least for this, this month. So I will give you guys a quick flip through since I didn't set this up on camera, but I didn't change a lot of things. There's a few changes, but not anything crazy. So I still have my highlights page over here and I have my cover page. I have my quote, my sticker. I don't have my intentions. I will write them down and, um, paste it here either today or tomorrow and then I have my calendar I haven't put down any events or tasks yet because I don't have um, anything specific for this month right now um, my finals I think they will start this week so once I have the actual schedule I can just write down the events but other than that I don't really have any events going on I will write down my tasks eventually then I have my content calendar planning whatever um, I will kind of write the content that I want to post this month, either today or tomorrow, like I said. And then this is just like my brain dump page, so I don't really need to fill it right now. It's not that important right now, uh, because I like to fill that as I go. If I have something on my mind, I like to just have it there so that I can kind of like refer back to it when I'm creating the content. I have my trackers and my habits. My trackers, they didn't change. I'm still doing it the same. I have my sleep tracker and my anxiety tracker, I guess. <laughs> um, I didn't change too much on this, so I don't think I will explain it, but it's just numbers, basically. Um, yeah, and then my habits. I changed how I'm tracking them a little bit. I decided to divide them into weeks so that it would be easier for me to track them. Because something that I realize is that if I have it like just fully, let me show you. If I have it like this, which I have like 30 or 31 dots, depending on the month. Um, I realize that it's hard for me to keep track of them because I don't know which day we are on. And I have to like count. This way, I think this will be easier because obviously like this is the first week. So like I can kind of figure out this a lot easier because obviously I know the um, day we're in so that I can kind of find it and just cross it off. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, and I've been doing a better job at tracking things. So I'm very happy about that. Um, and then I have my weekly, um, and then I have my weekly planning and my daily to-do lists, I guess. I have not been keeping track of these. I will update them. And I haven't done my to-do list for Friday. I will back fill that as well. Um, but yeah, this is the same. So this is week 18. I have my focus area. Sh I should have written down three, but I just want to focus on two things, I guess, this week. <laughs> so I just wrote down two. Um, and then I have my rolling weekly. I'm also slowly getting back into bullet journaling. So I'm not like filling it up entirely i'm just taking my time seeing what works and seeing what um needs a little bit of a change i guess 
Uh, but I have my Rolling Weekly here, my um, habits, and then, like I said, my to-do lists. And that's all, actually. Um, I also want to show you my, like, common place thing journal, or whatever you want to call this. Um, I journaled in this a little bit when I was in the coffee shop as well. Um, you've already saw these pages, I think, they're very old. But I journaled a lot, and I decided to try something new with this one as well. I decided to try splitting the page into two, and then, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I've done. Um, nothing changed except from that. I just have, um, like a little line right in the middle of the page. And then I have it as like margins. I think if I decorate, this will be a lot better for me, but I didn't really decorate the journal entry, mainly because I didn't have any um, stickers or anything like that. But I also had a lot to say, so I think it worked out pretty well. But I journaled this little part and all of this um, when I was in the coffee shop. <laughs> it's a lot, but I was trying to figure out my journal um, stuff, I guess. So just on this little part, I was just kind of rambling about how I didn't use my bullet journal and like how I want to get back to it and like my plan going forward. Just like a little, you know, um, little rambling about that. And then over here, which took a while, <laughs> I, but I have been thinking about um, trying the Hobonichi notebooks for um, next year for planning and for like memory keeping, commonplacing, all of that stuff. Basically, um, if I don't change my mind, I want to have two books and it will be it. Like, and I will have everything in those two books. Um, and I kind of rambled about that and how I want to use those books. Um, you know, just just about that. I I think I want a weeks for planning because that's basically what I do in my bullet journal right now when it comes to actual planning. And I think I want a um, Han in an A5 size as a daily journal, memory keeping, um, commonplacing, and all of that stuff. Um, I think I have an idea of how I want to use the margins in the Hobonichi as well, but we'll see. I am not thinking too far into it right now. Um, the main reason that I kind of wanted to write these down was because I was very confused on what size of book I wanted when it comes to the daily journal thing. So I kind of just sat down, thought about what I could do, and I just dumped my ideas. And I think now I'm settled on the A5 size for um, non-planning related things because I think it's going to be better for me. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've journaled about. I didn't tag them because I actually did not have my um, stickers, so they're here. I used these. If you, <clears throat> if you guys are new, I used these, but I didn't take them with me. So I will also... Um, kind of tag them as well <clears throat> when I'm I will also tag them as well when I'm filling my bullet journal but with that being said I think that's all I wanted to update you guys on I will just close the notebook oh uh, my reading journal I I haven't been keeping track of my readings in my reading journal I don't know if you guys are familiar with Copile but it's basically a google um, sheets file, I guess, that um, someone on YouTube did uh, for like star ratings and all of that. Uh, I will link that down below if you want to check it out. It's, just, it's so good. I basically keep track of my readings over there. And for reviews and stuff, I am using Literal Club. Um, I will also link my profile if you want to check it out. Um, that is, it's basically like Goodreads, but better in my opinion. Um, it's just aesthetically it's look, it looks a lot better and I feel like it's a lot easier to use like the interface is a lot neater like a lot fun to a lot more and a lot more fun to use so 
check it out. I will link my uh, profile down. Um, but yeah, so I haven't been updating my reading journal, but I have been reviewing the books that I'm reading um, over on the Literal Club. And I will update my book journal as well, and I think I will film it uh, this week, and then I will kind of post it as like a journal and chat with me video. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, I think I'm just gonna go. Um, thank you for listening to me rambling about things <laughs> and just being here watching the vlog as well. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna go. But yeah, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Thank you for being patient with me while I tried to figure this <laughs> YouTube thing out and my journals out. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. And um, yeah, I will hopefully see you guys very soon. Bye, everyone.